Cat. Program. Program head. Program head. Um, I was program director in 1996. Uh, we've had a lot of powerhouse program directors here. From Linda and Brian Fitz and Melon Anderson and Marna Morgan and Todd Lawrence. So many iconic people. Yeah, because that's, I think that that's the best role at camp. Talk to me about being program head at Camp Deronda. Program, to me, is something that is just so special and authentic and like just, it's not like anything else that we do. Yeah. And I remember we were discussing earlier that the programming that we do here is like way more like off the charts than they do at other camps. Yeah. And like when you're at other camps, it's like, well, where's the costumes? Where's the intros? Where's the skits? Where's this? Where's that? Yeah. And they do like they do a couple programs. Like, yeah, that's right. Like oh. a session, we do one every night. Oh yeah, one day a week we have a casino night. Now we do capture the flag. Yeah. It's like no, no. Yeah. There's a whole plot line behind this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like it is, it it takes a lot out of you, but. You, you get so much back from it at the same time. Mm -hmm. And there's something about watching people grow and step up into different roles and characters throughout the summer that is just, it's amazing to see. And like, I just, I love being able to execute some really awesome ideas and some change in the program that I think camp was in need of. Yeah. That was really, really cool. And yeah. And you have to have a certain temperament mm -hmm. to be in that role, right? Yeah. You have to be, you have to be able to be on, mm -hmm. and you seem to be on. You seem to be able to turn it on, right? Oh yeah. 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 And like, I would say, the worst part about being program head is that I don't get to be in programs. You don't get to be in programs. Well, like, I don't get to as often. Yeah. Like I, this summer I was able to be in two programs. Um, at the end of D session, because by that point I was able to kind of push some more leadership opportunities onto the other staff. Mm -hmm. So something that I designed in the program is um, something called the Triple P. So that's the program point person. Mm -hmm. So that's all of our skills counselors who um, they're a Triple P on one program. Okay. Yeah. Because our programs remain the same all summer long. Yeah. So we do them four times. Yeah. So even by D session, if it's our fourth time, fourth time, it's still our campers' first time ever experiencing it. Yeah. So it's still super important to keep like that energy up and those experiences and everything like that. And then the skills counselors get to kind of vamp up their responsibilities yeah. because there's one program that they're specifically assigned to and they still get to be on other programs too. But there's one program that they all have that's like theirs, yeah. that they get to build that, like those leadership roles in. And that includes like announcing how the program is going to work, like in front of all of camp, or facilitating lunch meetings, or just being those bigger characters. So by D session, they were being able to take on those roles. And uh, <laughs> the way I used to always put it is, I was like, I'm always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. Hmm. And then by D session, I got to be the bride. <laughs> now, do you have diabetes? I do. Were you a camper here? Yes. I and was. what years did you start? So I started in 2013. I was a camper for three years, and then I did the month-long leadership program. Yeah. And my first year on staff was in 2017. Who are your counselors? Um, my very first year, I had Liz. Yeah. Liz and another uh, another woman named Danielle Pierce Mm-hmm. Yeah. In my second year, I had Ellie. Yeah. Ellie Frazier, along with. Oh my gosh. She was the other one. I'm sure she was, was it, really was good too. She was probably a really good counselor. Oh, she, she was, was whoever that person was. Yeah. Whoever that person you can't remember yeah. the name of. They and then, because I, like, well, just thinking about Ellie specifically, yeah. Ellie's left such an important impact on my life. Why? She was also my leadership counselor. Yeah. Yeah. She was my leadership counselor in 2016 when I was 16. And so I was with But her what for about a that? Month. What about that was impactful? Just her. Just who she is and the way that who she is goes she? about. I don't know her very she's every, well. She's everything you want to be. So she's, 
She's give me a so quality. Give me a quality. Empathetic. Yeah. Understanding. Funny. Insightful. Magical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, like, how do you feel about this weekend? Because I remember when the 25th reunion was going on. I was, pro I was 96 when I was program director. And just thinking, like, oh, my God. These, there's a bunch of old people walking around. <laughs> They're acting like they own the place. They just walk in the buildings and take stuff. And, like, and so I had a, a love-hate relationship with the uh, 25th reunion. Mm -hmm. And now I'm one of the old guys walking around just taking stuff out of the buildings. <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel? I love it. Yeah. I love it because it's it's organized chaos, the mm -hmm. whole thing. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the best way to put it, is that everybody's trying to get their bearings yeah. and kind of figure out where they are and way find their way throughout camp and what they knew it to be and now what it is and how it looks. And it's funny, like, it's, it's the same, but the trees are bigger, mm -hmm. <laughs> which makes it a lot harder. Do you, are, do you have any trouble imagining 25 years from now coming back for, for the 75th? You'll be on the organizing committee. So? Yeah, for sure. And like, can you? Does that even make sense? Thinking about no. 25 years from now, you'll have kids and you'll uh -huh. have married some guy you met here. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's special. It's it seems so far away but it's, it, it won't be yeah it'll just show up and then i'll be like dang yeah now some people i've sat in this chair have said you know uh it's great being back but i i really miss something that's not here anymore mm -hmm. like i miss the horses or i miss sailing or something yeah. uh what do you have to say to these people who feel disappointed about like changes you feel disappointed about change? Or, or that mean, miss something, or say, you know, that was back then, and oh gosh, it's, mm -hmm. there's something, there's something missing here. Like, what's the message for those people? That, the things that you <laughs> fell in love with, and that you miss, and that you still get to think about, but don't get to experience anymore, I think, like, obviously is unfortunate in ways but at the same time I find that even magical within itself mm -hmm. because you're left with all of these memories of these people that you love and grown up with or have seen haven't seen and you get to then kind of construct that narrative for yourself in what your camp experience was because it was so authentic to you that is very well expressed that is you're very good off the cuff thank you yeah um and so where are you going from here? Um, are you coming back for family camp in a week? Uh, well, I was actually just talking about that with Lauren. I might. I might just show up. Uh -huh. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm, I'm currently a full-time student in, uh, in Teachers College at Nipissing University in North Bay. Huh, ah, nice. And you're gonna, you were saying you're going to carry camp into your profession. Joanna Jackson! I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean... I'll be done school in April and then just in time to come back here for the end of May. Mm -hmm. Probably be program all over again. Yeah. It's a program. You, so said you, you said you were thinking you weren't going to come back and then you did this. Yeah. What changed? Um, I was, when I was thinking about camps and applying to camps, I was, I knew I was going to be going to school this fall and I was like, okay, I know I'm going to need like, some more money coming in. I want to spend some time sister, uh, my best friend, um, my partner at the time, and and I was just like, yeah, like I want to be here, I want to be at home. And then some things kind of hit the fan, and I wasn't doing too well, just like emotionally and mentally, and it's, it's funny because I was in a situation, and I was thinking to myself, I didn't say anything to anybody, but I was like, I wish I could just get up and run away to camp. And then the next day... Lauren emailed me, and I haven't heard from her in six months. She just emailed me. Yeah. Out of the blue. And that was a sign of something. Yeah. Of course. And because she was asking me about, because she knew that I had obligations at home, because yeah. I, I was coaching a children's soccer team, and I had these obligations that I needed to fulfill. 
And she's like, I know you're going to do great things, but like, we're still looking for a program. Like, I've kind of exhausted all my options, but I was wondering if you would know anybody that I haven't tried. And I was like, yeah, like, unfortunately, like, I don't, like, I'm sorry. And then I was thinking about it more. And then within 24 hours, I got back to her and I was like, I want Let's do it. Yeah. I, I need to do this. Now, <clears throat> for a lot of people who work at camps, money is a pressure. That you're coming to a camp and you're not making much and then you got to pay for school mm-hmm. and so like a lot of people they hit a certain point and they're just, so they're like, just like i can't i can't financially mm-hmm. make this happen yeah. anymore yeah. and that's that's a shame right mm-hmm. that it's yeah. not their choice it's it's just the reality of mm-hmm. but at the, the same time is. it's almost kind of nice because People don't come here for the money. They don't come here for the financial benefit. They come here because they want to be here. That's a good point, yeah. If you got paid $5,000 for a summer, yeah. like, there'd be all sorts of riffraff like they want, here. they want to be here. Yeah. We don't need those jerks here. All right. It was lovely meeting you this weekend. Thank you. you Thank you. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, Being here was everything that I needed to do for myself. I needed to heal. I needed to be in the place that my most authentic version of me comes out. Yeah, and me be coming back here, like I almost forgot, like I needed this place. And so you. And every time you're here, you're like, why did I leave? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're great. <laughs>